On Summer Avenue, Josh Eaton School honors the only Reading man killed in the Revolutionary War. On top of Round Hill in the Laurel Hill Cemetery in 1865, the town dedicated the Soldiers' Monument. Funds were given in part by Abel Holden and the town. By a vote of town meeting, a small park at the intersection of Summer Avenue, Walnut, Hopkins Street was named Leech Park to honor the first man killed in World War I. On April 19th, 1919, 1,500 men, women, and children marched from Reading Square to Memorial Park to place a stone with the names of 13 men that gave their lives in World War I along with 13 elders. In 1939, the town dedicated a monument to all that served in World War I, the war to end all wars, at the entrance of Flower Hill. As you see by the other dates, the wars did not end. On November 11, 1940, the town set aside a lot of in Forest Hill Cemetery for the interment of veterans, and a deed was given to the American Legion. Just over 200 comrades in arms rest in peace. On November 11, 1946, a welcome home parade was held. A plaque was dedicated to those that made the supreme sacrifice in World War II. The plaque was rededicated in 1971 and 1996 on new flagpoles. At the base of the pole, a plaque is dedicated to Thomas Hayes, state commander of the DAV. On June 9, 1957, the town changed Reading High School to Reading Memorial High School to honor those that made the supreme sacrifice in World War II and Korea. Additional plaques give the names of those that were killed in Vietnam and the Persian Gulf. In 2007, the school was rededicated in honor all men and women that have served this country. On the large glass wall, you will see five service medallions, the Army, the Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. In the background, you will see the United States flag that was flown over all ready schools. To the rear of the building, there is a small space to sit and meditate as a project by a Girl Scout to earn her gold award. On the flagpoles in Tannerville and in Washington Park, there are plaques honoring those that served in Vietnam. In Washington Park, you will see two pl plaques of Mudville boys, one of Walter Doucette that was shot down in Hanoi in World War II, and one of Lawrence Dowsett, a Navy medic, was killed in Korea with the Marines. Uh, at the American Legion Post 62 house on Nash Street, you'll see this stone remembering their comrades.